Hello, I'm Tsunami Jirai and welcome back to another Spiral Abyss video. I know it is the same as last one, but here I recorded me completing it unlike last video. We will start off by clearing Chamber 1. This requires a different team for me to free start. At the end of this video I will showcase my character's votes. You don't have to be a whale to 36 star floor 12. Easy claps. For Chamber 2, it is really a damage check. But I think I found a way to beat him. So, here I was trying to gather particles for Raiden's circle. Then after he stands up I use Bennett's burst and Sinclair use burst to damage him to one third of his health. Then once he enters this space, I go all ham on him. Here you really need a gatherer or a staggerer, then you kill the ice mage first before she can pop her shield. I came very close to not finishing with 3 stars. With Chamber 3 it is really just luck with the AI. 
Like here I look at the ruin on other side to see if it beams the ground or teleport to me. This part I go behind this ruin so that it jumps back into the middle. Then I can know all of them together. This is my king and queen team. I love Yanfei and Kia together. I once tried to use Ganyu with Yanfei. In theory it's okay but I had hard time keeping up Ganyu's burst so I switched her with Kia. And OMG it works wonders. Child's banner was very nice to me. I got 4 Yanfei's on his banner. For Kia, he used to be my main DPS in Spiral until I got Ayaka, but for now I use him as support. For Bennett, I use him as support only and I wanted to stack as much ER as possible so that I only need to use Izzy only once or twice. For Zhongli, it took me a while to balance his HP and attack. I think 25k HP is enough for normal gameplay, but if we get another Vagabond event, I may have to switch to HP Sans. For Kazuha, I made him his sub DPS he is just so much fun to play. Now, when you see my Ayaka's crit rate and crit damage, please don't shit your pants. I got lucky pulling for the Jade Cutter. My Raiden is running a rather copium build. The ER set hates me, so I am running Fiskal's artifacts on her. But I think it works, she does a lot of damage still. For Diona, it is pretty easy to build her. I did try to get a lot of ER through substats as I could.
for Zing Kuayu. I am still leveling his weapon, but I would say he is rather well built. For Xia Youngling, I know her artifact set looks weird, but since she has EM Sands, she also needs attack. So that is why 2 piece Noblesse and 2 piece Gladiator. For Barbara, her build I made for fun, because I had leftover Wanderer set. They are pretty OP. Well that's it for this video, hopefully you found it entertaining.